Good morning, crappy day fishermen. We are back out here on the water. We are at beautiful Baker Beach. Zach, say what's up, man. Good. So he caught the first one, uh, undersized um, crab. Uh, so that's, I'll flash that right now, a photo of that. On the uh, Reaper, let's see. And then we got our bartender over here. Bloody Mary's. Yep, B Money. Bloody Mary's on the beach. So we already cast out our uh, our snares. We got we're using squid and uh, anchovies. These are right here next to the Bloody Mary's. We're about to be on the famous Crabby Day fishing. Oh here. yeah, we're gonna be on Crabby Day fishing right here. We're gonna make you YouTube famous. Hey, everybody give uh, Brian at least 10 likes on this video, just for him. All right, well, I'll, uh, I'll actually add his uh, YouTube and, and Instagram uh, down below. I'll add Zach's too, all his socials. Does it feel heavy? All right, slowly walk it backwards. If it feels like it's getting loose, slowly walk it backwards because you got the wave that you're fighting too. If that wave gives you any slack, it's gonna come loose. So keep that rod, that line tight. Use, use your uh, steps to keep it tight. So walk back when it does that. Oh, we got a record keeper. Look at this beast. Oh, we got a picture with that one. Got to take a picture with that one. It's still clear, dude. That's a baby baby. Yeah, it looks like soft shell too. All right, B, hold the snare. We'll take a picture with that bad boy with Golden Gate Bridge in the background. Get ready? One, two, three. Hey, there we go. All right, we got the the Russian nightmare. On his pull. Let's see you set those snares. There you go. That's a good bend, huh? Remember when the wave takes it in, walk uh, walk back. Or reel faster. Only when the wave's uh, pushing with you. Let's see where. Yep, bring him in, bring him in. Let's see, where you at? Okay, rock crab. Yeah, that's a keeper. On the reaper snare. What size does that for you keep? Four. I'm gonna hold that one. Let's go Golden Gate Bridge in the background again. Ready? Ready? Yeah. One, two, three. There you go. Okay. A little bit of weight. This is a hitchhiker. Right? That one right there is called a hitchhiker. He wasn't even snared. He might have been snared with this loop right here. Yeah. Being triggered. Surprised he didn't let go. Yeah, let's take a picture of that with the. Uh... All right, so I'm about to cast. And so what I do is I line up the bail, uh, this part of the bail wheel with the rod. Pull your trigger finger, open the bail. And then what I do is I take the actual bale and I swing it around. 
because we're casting something heavy. We don't want that bale to shut off us. And it's snapping your line. a little bit and then now we wait all right so Zach's about to cast out again but as you can see after that last crab he pulled he was resetting his snares so you want to make sure you do that increase the likelihood of uh, getting into the crab again I'm not getting paid for this but uh, Ken Crab Slayer he makes some uh, quality quality uh, snares. All right, Zach, show us how it's done, man. Get it past that breaker. Up to the right, right, right. Go over his line and uh, reel it back in. That, ladies and gentlemen, is how you don't cast. So we just turned this uh, video into a instructional on how not to cast. So what he did there was he, he let it go uh, a little too early, so it went far right. He's pulling it back in and uh, he's gonna recast it out this so way. So this is uh, take two on Zach's cast. No pressure. Right, so this is actually how it's done right here. There we go, there we go. He sent that one to Bodega Bay. Hey, so uh, you wanna to explain to people, uh, give them a tip, maybe just one tip on casting. What's your secret? Launch it like a Soviet missile. <laughs> All right, Zach's on another pull here. Or he's on my line. <laughs> or he's tangled right now. It looks like it. Yeah, looks like they ate, they ate all your bait and you lost them in the wave. So Zach's, uh, you know, he's going through all the life lessons today on uh, crab snaring. Looks like Brian's on a crab. If it gets loose, walk backwards. Might be a good one. Rock crab, maybe? Yeah, it's a rock. Got two. Two. Got a double, you got a big rock crab. Hey, lift them both up. Those are both keepers. Oh, wait. No, no, no. Yeah, both keeper rock crabs. That's, that's not real. Right? Yeah, that's rock. Feel this real. What's up? Feel it. Just start getting it. What about it? You feel weird? That's heavy. Yeah, but you want to let See it. Those are two keepers. I don't think so. Yeah, those are rocks. All right, double pull. Zach and Brian. Keep that rod tip up, B. Time the wave. Time the wave.
But after you guys cast, you're gonna wanna make sure that your line, I don't know if you guys can see that. See that green line? You're gonna wanna try to get it nice and tight, tight lines. Just so that when the tide breaks over your line that it doesn't pull your line and mess with your crab snare. You want your crab snare snare to sit nice and uh, steady along the bottom of the ocean floor. So keep an eye on that. Alright, Zach's on another pull. Oh yeah. Good rod then. Hey, nice and steady. Time that tide, huh? So he's walking backwards so that he gains uh, some speed on that pull. Let's see where it's at here. Did it fall off? Yeah, came off. No crap. But you notice the snares. One of them was uh, a little bit triggered right there. Oh, and his bait's gone. All your bait's gone. I see it too. That's fat. That's a double, damn near. That's a double. Oh, yeah. Oh, heck yeah. All right, we're on another pull. Another pull. Cast out again. Rebate, cast out.
lost one. Are you dead? Yeah, it's recording right now. Look at that. The damn uh, surf. All right, so check this out. So I'm out here crabbing, and all of a sudden I hear my name called out, and my cousins show up, and they pull a six and a quarter inch Dungeness crab right there. Look at that, keeper. Good job, good job. Right on. tell we are back home now and it was actually a really good day of fishing uh, we pulled up a lot of crab out of the water off the beach and uh, threw, threw back a lot uh, but we ended up keeping uh, two dungeness crab and tw no, 14 yeah 14 rock crab I uh, gave four of those to my grandmother uh, you know, passed by uh, grandma's house and dropped off four rock crab for her to cook up and uh, I'll be uh, steaming the uh, 10 rock crab and two dungeness rock crab uh, two of the dungees one was um, a six inch keeper and the other one was a six and a quarter inch keeper and the other uh, uh, 10 rock crab 14 uh, were obviously uh, over four inches with uh, pretty good sized claws so uh, thanks again for watching uh, hope you enjoy the additional footage uh, and get out there get crabbing get fishing have a crabby day fishing and uh, i'll see you on the next one thanks oh make sure you uh, like the video if you like it dislike it if you dislike it uh, hit the subscribe button please uh, share the video with anyone that you think would enjoy this channel and hit that uh, alert button for notifications so you don't miss another Crabby Day video. Thanks again.